So taxes. Our fourth question. Let us discuss taxation in the basic sense. What is your party's policy regarding fair and equitable taxation? Sure. Uh, when it comes to taxes, uh, I think a lot of people are concerned with the new Democrat party because we do offer a lot of services uh, and we assume that someone's going to have to pay for that. But I think it's been proven that the ultra rich are not being taxed enough. The corporate um, corporate giants are not being taxed enough. And I think that's where we can get a lot of the funds to pay for most of our services that we're offering. Thank you. So taxes, our fourth question. Let's discuss taxation in the basic sense. What is your party's policy regarding fair and equitable taxation? Well, I, I have to be honest, I sort of answered that in the, in the other question. When it comes to um, taxes, that's what governments use to provide programs and services for Canadians. So we need to make sure that we're spending wisely. I think that's, that's critical. But we also need to make sure that we're recognizing that when Canadians are paying taxes, that it's going towards investments in our country, it's going towards infrastructure, things to improve their, their lives. We do have a different philosophy, and when we were elected in 2015, we did raise taxes on the top 1%, and we lowered them for the middle class. Uh, we do believe that we should not be um, providing tax cuts that, that help only the wealthy, that we need to be ensuring that the most vulnerable in our country are being looked after. So it is a different way of looking at it than the Conservative Party for sure, um, but we do believe that we need to be giving a hand up to the most vulnerable, and if that means sending more money to those people who need it most, like through things like the Canada Child Benefit, which is um, in Oakville, North Burlington, that was $70 million that came into our riding per year uh, to help uh, families. For some of them, it's putting food on the table and being able to help pay for housing. For other ones, it might be helping to pay for kids to play in hockey. So um, again, we look at, at taxes as, as be coming into the government to provide investments for all Canadians, not just the most wealthy. And I think um, it's a philosophy that I personally adhere to, and it's one that I'm proud that our government takes, takes to heart. Thank you. Taxes. Yes. <clears throat> Let's discuss taxation in the basic sense. What is your party's policy regarding fair and equitable taxation? Fantastic question. We're the only party that wants to balance the budget in two years. I, heard, I just heard last night, though, that the Conservatives are talking about five years. Right now, a lot of parties are making promises. I think it's unethical and immoral to raise your taxes and then, right before an election, give you a tax break. Now, our tax system, flat taxes, 0% from 0 to 50,000 of personal income. 50 to 100, 15%. Anything over 100,000, 25% flat tax. Make it nice and simple. Every, everybody pays less taxes, frees up money. We believe that the individual should decide where to spend their money. We're going to abolish capital gains, and we're going to lower the corporate tax to 10%. I just heard Trudeau's putting at 9. He's playing a game. He's trying to buy your vote. Look at our policies of the People's Party of Canada. They've been consistent for a year. Look at Maxine Bernier's policies. They've been consistent for 10 years. Thank you. Thank you. So our fourth question has to do with taxes, which you were just talking okay. about. Let us discuss taxation in the basic sense. Mm -hmm. What is your party's policy regarding fair and equitable taxation? Well, I talked to you about a little bit about the corporate tax. I didn't mention as well that we, uh, we'd also like to look at how we can tax uh, international companies like uh, Amazon and Facebook, which uh, Amazon especially is really hurting local Canadian businesses because they can just swoop in and uh, they don't pay any taxes here, whereas Canadian businesses, they have to pay tax. So we would look at how we could tax them. Uh, you mentioned earlier the carbon tax. The carbon tax, I think, is a... It reminds me a lot of cigarette taxes. I mean, we've been able to reduce the amount of, of cigarette smoke, almost eliminate it, uh, because we tax uh, things that we, we don't like, and uh, we can invest that money in things that we do want. So the carbon tax is a great way to get people to move away from uh, uh, dirty and uh, inefficient technologies 
and I move them towards things that are cleaner and greener. I think most people would, don't, nobody really wants to pollute, but if we gave them an option uh, to make it easier to be, to be green, I think they would take it. And so that's why I think our taxation would kind of help people make that choice and move towards a, a cleaner technologies. Okay, thank you.